I'm hanging out here in my flat in Helsinki and back with more great tips for you. You've probably already come across the importance of storytelling, but you might be concerned about sharing a personal story or maybe one that's proprietary. Well, in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can create a story that's going to pull audiences in, but make sure that you don't feel like you're stepping the bounds of any proprietary information or any personal stories. It's called the imagine technique, and here's how it works. You're going to set up a very simple scenario to give audiences a context. And that scenario is going to pull them in and get interested about your topic. Here's a simple example. Imagine you've painstakingly spent months building a new software product. You launch and it's a hit. But a few months later, you quickly discover some fraudulent charges. You've got people calling you requesting their money back. After a while, you discover that these fraudulent charges were caused by some trolls on the internet stealing credit card numbers. What do you do? Well, in today's talk, I'm going to share three best practices for how you can secure your software product. See how this example works? Now, the next time you decide to give a talk and start off with a story, try using this technique, the imagine technique. It will pull your audiences in, create a context, and keep them engaged. For more great tips like this, check out our new book, Present.